Okay, guys, very quickly, welcome again. This is where the real business actually starts from in your biomolecules. We're going to start and then delve deep into carbohydrates, but for carbohydrates in this class, we're going to focus on just introduction and the classification of carbohydrates. Quick one if you are not yet subscribed, ensure that you get subscribed to this channel and then you turn on the notification bell so that immediately we are dropping classes you are the first to receive notifications directly from us secondly download the learn lift app where you have all all the teachings well organized and well arranged for you and then you have access to pdf notes directly from us and then you also have um, access to mcq questions where you practice thousands of questions and you get engaged with other students and just join the community over there yeah, let's go guys. Now, how do we introduce carbohydrates? You must know this very quickly. First, that introduction to carbohydrates is more like the definition and your carbohydrates are aldehydes or ketone compounds with multiple hydroxyl groups. From this definition, I've striked on two things. Number one, I've made mention of something but in a silent format and that is the carbonyl family. Your carbonyl family we, you understand with me very quickly that carbonyl family, they are divided into two. And what are the two carbonyl family that we have? The first part there is called your aldehydes. Aldehydes is under your carbonyl family. Aldehydes are also called the alkanals. And the second part of it is called your alkanones, also called your ketones. So we have the second part here being the ketones, ketones. So carbonyl family are two, the aldehydes and the ketones. Now go back to the definition. Carbohydrates are aldehydes or ketone compounds with multiple hydroxyl groups. In other words, two things there. Number one is that they contain the carbonyl family, which are the aldehydes or the ketone compounds. And number two, they have multiple hydroxyl groups. Now this is it. Do they have single hydroxyl group or they have multiple hydroxyl group? Multiple hydroxyl group. Okay. From these two structures here, let me call this our structure one and then here our structure two. You can understand this with me very quickly that, of course, this is your carbonyl family here, right? Oh, yes. Which of the carbonyl family can we identify this to be? It is nothing but the aldehydes. Aldehydes are also called the alkanals. And then this is another um, carbonyl family here. And this carbonyl family, you can understand with me that this is your ketone or your alkanones, right? That means carbonyl family contains either aldehydes or the ketones in addition to multiple hydroxy group, not just one hydroxy group. Okay, guys, this is it here. Is this one hydroxy group or is two hydroxy group? Of course, two. You've seen it now. This other side, this is an hydroxy group. This is what an hydroxy group. And that fulfills the parameter of it being called the carbohydrates. Two things to note. Carbohydrates, they are aldehydes or your ketone compounds. And number two, they have multiple hydroxy group. Oh, somebody will now say, sir, sir, what if the OH, for instance, let's say, okay, let's look at this compound two. What if the OH is now attached in this format here? Here, we have one OH here. This is one OH, and then this is second OH. And then we don't have any OH at this location. No, 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 no. That can never be carbohydrates. It is not possible. Now, the carbons, each carbon should have at least one OH. That's what we are referring to as a multiple hydroxy group, not different hydroxy group on one carbon. That's wrong. Carbohydrates, again, they are aldehydes or your ketone compounds with what multiple hydroxy group. Another thing quickly is this. Take note that carbohydrates are the most abundant biomolecules on Earth. This is it. Wow. The most abundant biomolecules on Earth, they are the carbohydrates. Why is it so? Because of their extensive role in all forms of life. In fact, you need energy carbohydrates. Your brain needs food carbohydrates. So it is very, very important and essential. They are the most abundant biomolecules on what? On it. Another lovely thing you must know very quickly under this is this that your 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 carbohydrates are organic compounds that are composed. Now look at the whole of this structure. Tell me how many things can you see that this compound is made up of? Just three things there. Your carbon, your hydrogen, and your oxygen. Come down here, your carbon, your hydrogen, your oxygen. All carbohydrates on Earth, they contain just three things. Your carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And they are organized in either the form of the aldehydes or in the form of the ketones. And again, they must have what multiple hydroxy group coming off the carbon atom or the carbon chain. 
In other words, when you have a carbon chain, like I've established, this is a carbon chain here, hydroxyl group is coming out, another carbon chain, hydroxyl group is coming out, not that one carbon chain has numerous hydroxyl group. No, that's not what we're referring to. Another thing you must know very quickly is this very lovely. Take note that the building block of all carbohydrates, they are the simple sugars called monosaccharides. Okay, let me explain this. In other words, what is the basic unit of the nervous system? Of course, it's called your neurons or your nerve cells, right? Oh, yes. What's the basic unit of the kidney? It's called nephron. What's the basic unit of the liver? It is called your hepatocytes. That's the liver cells. The same thing. What is the basic unit of carbohydrates? Their basic unit or their building block is called your simple sugar. And these simple sugars are the monosaccharides. Don't play. So monosaccharides are the building block of all carbohydrates. So if you combine, um, if you must have um, your complex form of carbohydrates, it means that you have numerous monosaccharides that you are combining or connecting together. Now, this is a very good thing. How do we classify carbohydrates? There are different classifications of carbohydrates that you must note. Oh yes, carbohydrates are classified into the following. There are just four major lovely ones you should know. Number one is called your monosaccharides. So your monosaccharides, which is the simplest of them all, is number one. Number two is called your disaccharides. Number three is called oligosaccharides. And then number four is called your polysaccharides. So these are the four sweet classification of your carbohydrates. Don't forget this. Your monosaccharides, your disaccharides, your oligosaccharides, and your polysaccharides. But sir, I thought um, disaccharides and oligosaccharides, they are the same. No, 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 no. I'm going to explain all of them to you in details as we proceed. Are you with me? You must note this very quickly that this classification, disac and monosaccharides, your disaccharides, oligosaccharides, and your polysaccharides, they are based on two things. Number one, it is based on their structural complexity. And number two, it is based on the number of sugar units that they contain. Are you getting me now? Structural complexity is taken into view and the number of sugar units that they contain. Now, carbohydrates have a general molecular formula. What's that general molecular formula? Of course, it's very simple. Just remember this for me. Just remember your CH2O like this and then your what's your N. So if I have this formula, can I say this is equal to my CNH2NON? Oh yes, this here is the formula for carbohydrates. We had that N there is whole number any whole number at all but from three and above is all we have there now if you understand this in our next class we are going to dwell fully on the monosaccharides see you in the next class shortly enjoy hello guys the class you just finished watching was brought to you by the lenlit app if you enjoyed the content don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bells so that when beautiful and educative videos drop, you would get notified.